Rahim. In this video, we are going to simulate FM demodulation circuit uh, in multisim. First of all, uh, let's discuss how we can uh, convert an FM signal to a an AM signal and then we will use the demodulation methods for AM to get the message signal at the output right so first of all uh, this is the equation for FM signal in which you have this message signal M of T or you can call it as M, M of alpha so to define uh, this mess uh, to define an AM signal using this FM signal we need to take its derivative so if we take the derivative of this uh, FM signal we are going to get uh, the terms like this okay so after simplification we are going to get one term here and another term here right so this is a constant term means it will have a constant amplitude uh, with a magnitude of a times omega c and the second term is the uh, it, it has the uh, message signal in its amplitude right so it means uh, this second term is similar to the am signal or the am modulation right because it is having a term uh, that is cosine or sine with some phase its amplitude will be a times kf times m of t so this m of t is dependent on time and th that is your message signal right so we need to extract this so the overall uh, signal means the overall differentiation is equal to a constant amplitude term plus a term that has its amplitude that is being uh, very that is having a variation in its amplitude with respect to time right so in the circuit form we can construct a circuit like this one so the first part of this circuit is a bandpass filter so this bandpass filter will be used here as a derivative or as a differentiator right to get this derivative term from the fm signal so fm signal will be our input right so how this bandpass filter can act as a differentiator because uh, uh, we know that an, a, a differentiator circuit is actually having a 90 degree of phase means in if we talk in terms of frequency domain we are going to have s term in the numerator right so means it will have a phase of 90 degrees okay so if we see the uh, frequency response of this bandpass filter or bandpass uh, you mean uh, uh, or a differentiator we are going to have a body plot like this one and if you carefully see the phase diagram the phase diagram means that before the cutoff frequency we are going to have an approximately 90 degrees of phase plus 90 degrees so as the differentiator is having a plus 90 degree phase so this will this bandpass filter will act as a differentiator here right so it means that we have to design this bandpass filter with a cutoff frequency that should be higher uh, much higher than our carrier signal for example our carrier signal is of 150 kilohertz then we need to design this filter above 200 kilohertz right so that the 3 db minus 3 db frequency for this bandpass filter should be greater than the carrier frequency of your signal right so that is most important thing then we have a unity gain buffer but usually if we are going to design the bandpass filter and we are going to operate the bandpass filter before minus 3 db frequency it will have uh, too much attenuation it's in its magnitude so we need some gain so instead of this unity gain buffer we can also use uh, a 
an amplifier that that will be having uh, some gain maybe 5 or 10 right then the third part is about the envelope detector that is the same thing that we use for the AMD modulation right so once we get the AM signal here the means the differentiator will give us an AM signal from the original F FM input signal right so this AM signal can be demodulated with this envelope detector using an diode as a rectifier circuit or a half wave rectifier circuit then this CB capacitor will act as a DC blocking capacitor to give you the original signal uh, that will be a pure input signal without any DC term right so here we go we are going to implement this circuit in the multi sim but first we need to define few things we need to design this filter then we need to design this envelope detector so that it can correctly demodulate the AM signal right but our overall goal is to demodulate the FM signal using the technique used for the AM signals right so here we are going to design the filter with a frequency of 230 kilohertz so for 230 kilohertz we are going to design the filter uh, capacitor and inductor values so after that we need to define uh, design the bandwidth as well so let's uh, we have uh, let's let us we have a bandwidth of 3.34 kilohertz i have chosen this arbitrarily you can choose any value but it should be greater than the bandwidth of your input message signal right then this time constant is for the envelope detector right you have to have this value greater than the bandwidth of your message message signal right this is your carrier frequency so in this overall simulation i am going to use 150 kilohertz as the carrier frequency that is a way less than the 3d minus 3 db frequency that should be maybe 200 kilohertz because this is the center frequency so minus 3 db frequency will be around 200 uh, depending on the quality factor and then for the carrier i am going to use 150 kilohertz so the message the message signal that i am going to use is a sinusoidal wave having a frequency of 1 kilohertz right so here i have designed the values for the re and rc of the original circuit that is here so let's uh, move towards the simulation so here is the simulation diagram or the circuit diagram in multi sim so i have designed the values for r l and c for the band pass filter or you can call it as uh, a differentiator in this particular case then i have designed an amplifier with some gain of 8 7 by 1 plus 1 so then i have designed the values of this these two capacitor and resistor and that, uh, they will serve as a as an envelope detector right so first of all i need to generate an fm input signal so how i can do that I need to use Agilent function generator. So in Agilent function generator, I'll show you how to create an FM signal with frequency deviation as well as with carrier frequency as well as with the message frequency. So first of all, turn, turn this on and then you need to set the amplitude to, uh, suppose we set it to 5 volt. So I'll make it to 5 then I will change the unit that is 5 now I need to set the frequency so first of all I need to check this because I am going to have an FM signal okay so sorry we need to have an FM, FM signal okay so for the frequency I need to set it this will be the carrier frequency so whenever you select FM uh, like this one 
then you select the frequency for the carrier signal so it should be 150 in our case so let me set the frequency to 150 so in this case i'm going to set it to 150 kilohertz so here we go now i need to set the uh, message frequency so you can see that i need to press shift and then press the frequency to set the message frequency so shift frequency so this is the modulation frequency so i need to set it to 1 kilohertz that will be our message frequency so here we go now i need to set the level means i need to set the frequency deviation so this is the level i need to press shift then level so that is the frequency deviation suppose we set it to 25 kilohertz right so let me set it okay so now we have finished we have finished the setup setting up of this fm uh, signal so let me simulate this so i'll show you how the signal is looking like so so you can see here so this red color is the input signal that is having a different frequency if you can observe here so this is the fm signal so after the differentiator means the output of the differentiator is the am signal that we talked about so here is your am signal that has the uh, carrier frequency and that have a carrier signal and upon the, on this carrier signal we have a message signal riding on it so this is just an am signal right so now after the amplifier i need to see the output so here is the amplified output shown in blue uh, you can see here the output from of the amplifier so let me zoom it so I'll zoom it so here is our input of the envelope detector now I need to see the output so let me show you the output so here is your output right so uh, as you can see this is not a pure sinusoidal signal but it is approaching sinusoidal because in this case our differentiator is an approximated circuit then our envelope detector is an approximated circuit so in reality the sinusoidal waveform is distorted but for the ideal case using this procedure we can uh, recover the message signal using the fm demodulation and in this fm demodulation technique we have applied am demodulation uh, circuit actually uh, that is the envelope detector so this is the overall procedure to demodulate an fm signal using the demodulation techniques of am signals right so that's all about today so if you have any questions you can uh, ask in the comments section Thank you very much.